Hey y'all, it's Tate, and this is Bookish Constellations. Today, we're exposing me. As usual, most of what I do on this channel is just me exposing myself, but today it's specific because I'm talking to you about the series that I want to finish but haven't, and it's kind of long. <laughs> you should also know that there are a lot of series that I want to start that I haven't entirely because I know that I will get one or two books in and then either forget to finish or not want to finish. So basically I'm bad at finishing series, but we're just gonna get into it. And the first series is the Charlotte Holmes series by Brittany Cavallaro. If you don't know what this is about, it's about the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and John Watson who meet at a boarding school and then become friends and have to solve mysteries and... Yeah. I will note for this series that there is definitely a trigger warning for discussion of a past sexual assault and I think there might be an attempted sexual assault or like sexual harassment and there's also drug use. I have read the first two books in this series. I loved the first one, wasn't a huge fan of the second one, but I've heard that the next two are a lot better. I just keep not reading it or getting distracted by other books and I need to finish it because first of all I'm just interested and second of all I feel like the longer I wait the less Rocky will love me and that's all I want is for Rocky to love me. <laughs> the next series that I really 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 need to get off my ass and finish this is the Magnus Chase series by Rick Riordan. And if you don't know what Magnus Chase is about, it's, you know, the Rick Riordan series, so it's about mythology. And this is Norse mythology, and it follows our main character, Magnus Chase. And he dies and gets sent to Valhalla, which is the place for heroes. But then, shit starts going down. And there's a lot of really wonderful rap. Magnus, the main character, is pansexual. It's also a hijabi-wearing Muslim character. There are several characters of color. I know for a fact that there are at least two black characters, I think. Maybe more. There is a deaf character who uses sign language and Magnus knows sign language as some of the other characters do as well to communicate with him properly. There's also a gentleman character who's trans and who uses different sets of pronouns. Also I don't know if it's confirmed that Hearthstone and Blitz and her husbands but like they are husbands. Like they are. Like they're husbands. They're husbands and Magnus is an adopted son. So I have read two of them. I have got read the last one. I think there are only three. If there are more Yikes, I wasn't aware of it. But I got through the first two and I loved them so much and then I was struggling to get a hold of the third one and then I just got distracted by a million books and I, ah. I just need to just get it and read it and just not get it over with because I don't want it to end, which is also why I haven't finished a lot of these series because I don't want them to be over. But that's how it be. The next series is another Rick Riordan series and it's the Trials of Apollo series. This series just follows Apollo who after the events of the Heroes of Olympus series, which, you know, spoils for Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus. If you haven't read those and you try to read this, you're probably gonna be kind of confused. As punishment, he gets turned into a human and has to, like, do some trials and figure out this big uh, problem that's going on in order to become a god again. Apollo is unabashedly bi. There are a lot of other, like, queer characters, including two old, sweet lesbians. One of them is black. And I'm pretty sure there's some other queer characters that I just can't remember their name and they're people of color and it is so much fun. I read the first two, Hidden Oracle and Dark Prophecy. I have The Burning Maze at college and I just haven't read it yet and I need to but I keep just getting distracted and it's been long enough that I'm now starting to forget a little bit of the plot and so part of me is like I need to reread them but they're kind of long and I don't have a lot of time so I might just have to like go find like a plot just to refresh myself and then just get into it because I need to read it and I need to see my babies again. Someone please kick my ass to read this. Probably Julia. Julia, kick my ass to read this. Also, yes, Julia, this does mean that I haven't read that one book with that one spoiler and I still know the spoiler. Yes, I'm kind of dying that I know the spoiler and have to just wait for it to happen because I don't remember what book it is. Huh. All the next series I'm going to talk about next, I only have one book left, so can you tell that I just don't like finishing series because I get sad. <laughs> the first series for this is The Lumine Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I almost forgot for a second. Yes, by the way, this is the ARC version. Um, and it kind of slaps because it has this whole thing inside of like, oh, we're trying to like, it's like publicity. It's very cool. Um, and I will never give it up. Uh, I love it very much. It's also signed. I don't know if I've ever flexed my signed copies. So this is for Tate, Fight Like Girl, because I, I, I met the authors and I actually got to interview them, which is very cool. And then from Jay to Tate, take your shot. So, there's your flex for the day. But yeah, I haven't read Obsidio yet. Part of it is just because it 
these are pretty long books. They are faster than they seem, but they are still long. And that's intimidating, and also because a lot of people said that they didn't like Obsidio as much as the other two, and it makes me nervous that I'm going to end the series and not like the last ones, and I'm scared. But have I read the first two books twice and not read the third one? The next one is The Dark Artifice series by Cassandra Clare. Techn okay, technically I only have one left in this. But really, I re need to read Lord of Shadows, first of all, because I forgot it. Also because when I first read Lord of Shadows, I was so exhausted at the idea of how much angst we were about to have because of how Lady Midnight ended that I low-key skipped a lot of this book. And so I lost a lot of the plot. So. Yikes. So I probably actually need to read both of them, but technically all I need is Queen of Air and Darkness, which I have very mixed feelings on, which is part of why I haven't done it, and also because I need to read Lord of Shadows, which is also a thick boy, and also because the bitch is like 900 pages, and it's terrifying. Like, I... Ugh. But I will someday, probably. We'll see. The next series, or I guess a duology, that I need to finish is the Monsters of Verity series by... Is it V. Schwab in this case, or Victoria Schwab? I think it's Victoria Schwab. I think Victoria Schwab is for young adult. Yeah. This is a series, if you don't know, about um, this world where violence creates actual monsters, and three kind of monsters. And our two main characters is one of them is a normal human who's the daughter of, like, this, like, it's kind of like the leader of one half of this big city where all the monsters are, and she wants to be as ruthless and awful as her father, and then one who is a monster and he just wants to be a normal human and then they end up having to kind of team up. I really liked the first book which is this savage song and I just haven't read the second one in the duology for some reason even though it ended on a cliffhanger and so I should have been really excited but I just don't really want it to end and I don't, I don't know, I'm just really bad at finishing series. <sighs> the next one is also a Cassandra Clare book and that's the Infernal Devices series. I haven't read Clockwork Princess yet. I actually was reading Clockwork Princess last year and I got halfway through it and I was doing great and I was gonna finish it and then my reading slump hit me like a fucking train and now I've forgotten enough of it that I'm gonna have to go back and start it over and it just sounds like a lot and I'm so scared that I'm not gonna like it because this is one of people's like favorite books. Also because fun fact I know the spoilers for this book so I'm like I'm gonna cry but I'm also gonna know that I'm gonna cry so it's gonna be 900 pages or whatever long it is like 600 pages of being sad because I know that I'm gonna be sad. And then I do have three more that are kind of honorable mentions because they're series that I haven't finished and I think I might finish, but I don't know if I will. But I figured I'd mention them. The first of those is the Books of Bayern series by Shannon Hill. I've read these two and I haven't read these two. I'm like, I kind of want to finish these, but it's also been so long since I read these two. And I'm nervous about if I'm going to like these two. And I'm not as excited for them as I am about other books, so I've been holding them off. But I feel like it's a series where it's like, if I'm in the mood for them, I'll read them. And if I'm not, I'm okay with never finishing them. I don't know. I did love Goose Court. It was one of my favorite books for a while. And I did also really like Anna Burning, so I'm like, I think this could be good, but I also like, I don't know, and it's uh. There's also the Truly Devious series by, I can't remember right now. I read the first book, I lied to the time, but the longer that it's been since I've read this book, the more I've forgotten about this book, and more I feel very eh about this book. And now I don't know if I want to continue it, but I also might, but then I have to reread Truly Devious. I don't know if I want to, so I'm very on the fence on this one. So if anyone's read Truly Devious and they were kind of mixed about it, but then read more books and liked them better, please tell me. The last one I'm torn about is the Simon Stone series. I think we all know why. Rainbow Rowell has had issues of racism and Rainbow Rowell has never addressed it. And so now I just feel uncomfortable reading more Rainbow Rowell books knowing that controversy and knowing that like I would have the privilege of being able to set aside that. So I don't know, I did love Carry On, but I'm not sure if I want to read Wayward Son. If I do, I definitely won't buy it, but I'm, I don't know. So that is all for this pretty repetitive video, but if you've finished any of these series or read any of these series and you think there are some that I need to prioritize, let me know. I know if Marion watches the video, Infernal Devices is gonna get mentioned, and if Rocky watches this video, Study in Charlotte is gonna mention, I know some of y'all are gonna mention some, but still tell me, and thank you for watching. In conclusion, my phone is about to die, so bye, eh, love you.